Welcome back to First and Ten. One game that was severely hampered because of the lightning and the thunder and the rain was the Branson game against Harrison, Arkansas. Joining us now live from down at Pirate Stadium is Jared Henry. Jared, what's going on down there? Yeah, Dan, the game just got completely canceled, um, and that's not because of the rain. I could, you could see I'm totally soaked. I would like to put my hat in the ring for the most soaked out of all the crews that are out there right now. But like I said, this wasn't because of the rain. It was because of the lightning. We saw, sat and watched the lightning for a while. They ran into one rain delay or lightning delay. They went into the locker rooms for a while, and then they came back only to go into another lightning delay a few minutes later where they just completely canceled the game after that. I haven't heard anything about any if any of these games will be made up. I do know that um, Branson plays Camden to next week, and then uh, uh, Harrison plays uh, Mountain Home. Reporting live in Branson, I'm Jared Henry, Color 10 News. All right, we just saw some highlights there. In that game, Branson had a 45-yard field goal, but as, as Jared said, they canceled the game because they just couldn't get it all in. We'll see what happens in there as this thing falls through. A lot of other changes in 2024, new conferences, old teams in new places. Glendale Falcons now in the new look Central Ozark Conference. Falcons have a new coach in Frank Tristan as well, comes to the south side from Willard. Glendale hosting the O Show tonight. The Falcons playing some defense early. Hogan Waldowski and Saul Spurgeon team up for a loss of yardage right there, tackling the Wildcat for a loss of yardage. But Neosho's defense would step up as well. In the first quarter, Glendale's pass is picked off by the Wildcats' Hudson Williams, and the senior returns it 20 yards down the far sideline, and that would get the Cats' offense rolling. Later in this drive, fourth and one from the Glendale seven, the handoff goes to Denver Welch. He goes three yards, that's all he needed to get the first down. So what do you do? You feed the dog. He gets the ball on the very next play, and he plows it in from four yards out to make it 7-0 Neosho. Welch having a big first half. Here, he would get the pass in the flat from Cade Spiva, and then Welch would turn the corner and pick up 25 yards for a first and 10, and then later on that drive, it was Spiva on the quarterback keep. He goes up the middle, 12 yards, high steps it into the end zone. That made it 14-0 Neosho. And the Wildcats uh, go ahead and lead this one 44-7. That one, at last report, late in the fourth quarter. 